Hi folks, today we'll be focusing on the fur and armor of this giggle dog in this video sponsored by HeroForge. Alright, so we've got the giggle dog here. This is a new race option available on HeroForge. And I'm going to be starting out with do, basing in the armor with Brass Scorpion. So I wanted to give this guy kind of a uh, rusted, worn looking armor, something that, you know, it's been out in the elements and maybe not taking as much care. So I'm just basing this all in, trying to be careful not to get too much on those straps there, but, um, you know, I'll be painting those back over. So I'm going to base in all of that uh, chainmail shirt. You can see that all finished up there. And now I wanted to do the plates on his legs a slightly different color, but it's kind of keeping it in that same theme. So I'm using Blighted Gold from P3 to base this in. I really like this color. It's a nice, um, you know, like tarnished kind of looking gold, even on its own without adding much more to it. Uh, gives that a nice kind of, yeah, this is seen some wear and tear. So I'll paint both of those arm uh, leg plates, not arm plates, so that you can see those are both painted up. And while I'm letting them really dry, I'm going to go in and I will base in all of the fur with dryad bark. The reason I'm using dryad bark here is looking at pictures of hyenas, which I think is what the giggle dog is kind of based off of. Um, they have a much darker like um, feet and nose. Uh, and all of that. So I wanted to have that kind of as this underlying dark brown layer. Uh, so you can see I've based that all in for this to then build the fur up over top of that. And now I'm going to start building the fur up with Talarn Sand. So I'm doing not quite a dry brush technique. Uh, I've got the paint on my wet palette and then I'm wiping most of it off on my wet palette so it's still wet it's not dry paint and then I'm just kind of pulling it placing my my uh, brush and pulling it to get this kind of fur effect uh, it's a nice streaky effect this is really nice to add a little bit of texture um, you know there's a lot of texture on the tail and the face but the legs were a little bit smoother so I wanted to add a little bit of that kind of fur look to it uh, and also this works well, even if you have a textured mini, I use this technique on the face um, to help kind of add, slowly build up those layers. So you can see that's that first layer all on there. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to go in with Typhus Corrosion. This is a technical paint to add a little bit more um, uh, corrosion to <laughs> the armor. And I'm just kind of brushing this on all over with the plates I kind of focused it towards the top um, so kind of the bottoms where you would have more rubbing there's I didn't put it there now that that's on and letting that dry I'm going to go back over all of the fur with Agrax Earthshade and this is just helping um, kind of blend those two browns together a little bit more it's also adding a little bit of uh, dimension to the parts that don't have that the the nose and the toes and hands um, bringing out the the sculpt a little bit more just painting this on all over being trying to be careful not to get it you know on the parts that I already painted uh, and now I'm going to let it dry really well before going back over the refer so I'm going back into the armor and painting Brass Scorpion. I'm painting this on the leg pieces and I'm also going to brush it back over the chainmail shirt. So painting it onto the leg pieces was kind of helping to tie those two metals together and going back over the chainmail shirt is bringing a little bit of that texture back out um, from the corrosion, um, bringing a little bit more shine so it's like okay yes there's corrosion there but the parts that have gotten hit uh, or, or, or rubbed, the corrosion's not there. And now I'm going back in with Runefang Steel to just very selectively hit kind of the top parts and um, I, I do go over the chest. I liked this effect because it makes it look like it's a rusted steel rather than a brass. Um, 
gives that effect of like, oh, this probably once was a really nice steel chainmail shirt, and just as the elements have hit it, it has rested. So now that the Agrath Earthshade is fully dry, I'm going back in and doing a second layer of Talarn Sand. Uh, this time I'm really trying to focus on uh, kind of where the light's going to hit to bring a little bit more contrast and color shape to the mini. Going back in, doing the same technique I did before where I'm getting some paint on my brush and then dry brushing it on. I let that dry and now I'm going back in with Karak Stone. Again, this helps add a little bit more dimension. I'm focusing on those light areas. And if you look at, you know, fur, hair, stuff like that, it's not one color. There's oftentimes multiple shades, um, kind of as the sun has bleached it out um, or just the natural coloration of the animal. So I'm gonna do that all over. And I also focused a lot on the face, bringing out those ridges along the cheeks and ears, um, all of that to really bring kind of the, the nice touches of uh, fur on this head, really bring that out. And again, we'll let this fully dry before moving on to the next bit. So I wanted to bring the tail and the uh, crest kind of um, crest, uh, mohawk, whatever you want to call it, a different color. And looking at pictures of hyenas, they had a have kind of a red color to them as well, oftentimes in their um, hair ridge. Uh, so I dry brushed that onto the tail. I started to dry brush it onto the head crest uh, mohawk, but I realized I wanted to be a little bit more careful just to make sure I didn't get anything onto the ears or onto the face. So I swapped out for a small highlighting brush and just painted that highlight on. I let that dry and now I'm going in with Golfang Brown and dry brushing that into the very tips of the tail as well as the top. Again, bringing a little bit of more dimension to the mini with color, and then I also will dry brush it along the very tips of the mohawk. And because I'm focusing much more on the tips, I am using a dry brush because uh, I can be uh, a little bit more careful and not uh, get it on the ears. So yeah, that brought it out. I also painted the eyebrows with that color. And before we get into painting the rest of the miniature, I want to take a moment and thank HeroForge, the sponsor of today's video. HeroForge offers fully customizable tabletop miniatures with dozens of fantasy races and thousands of parts to choose from. Their easy-to-use design tools lets you build your perfect miniature online using a fully 3D in-depth character creator right in your web browser. There are thousands of parts in their database to build with so you can mix and match to create your perfect miniature. And the custom posing lets you adjust and tweak their standard poses into unique ones, capturing your mini's personality. So for this guy, I chose to have it look like he was just taking a uh, barrage of arrows and is getting ready to swig his club into his enemy's face. Visit HeroForge.com to start designing your custom miniature today. And don't forget to check back often. New content is added every week. All right, now that we've got the fur and the armor painted in, I wanted to uh, bring out the rest of the clothing into a, a slightly different color. So I'm going in with the fang, bringing in this blue uh, cool tone to contrast against the rest of the warm because the fur is so warm, the armor is so warm. Um, that's something to keep in mind, uh, balancing your warm and cool colors. If I was painting up like a bunch of these guys, I might do kind of the standard grunts with a red or a brown, um, something that blends in. But because I wanted this guy to stand out, I'm doing this blue to really accentuate the, the different colors. Uh, so now I'm going in with the Fang and Fenrisian Gray mixed together one-to-one. Uh, -to -one. Um, to paint in all of the highlights, focusing on kind of the tops of the minis, uh, painting in both the straps. And then I'm also going to focus on the uh, stripes on the pants. I love the striped pants of these. Uh, it adds a cool little feature to this guy. I'm looking forward to using this as either an NPC or uh, the leader of a giggle dog party um, and really have just because he stands out so nice. So now I'm going to go in and add 
Now that that's all dry, I'm adding in Drakenhof Nightshade to help bring out uh, the blue, add a little bit of depth with this shade, really focusing it into those creases in the pants to bring out those stripes. And I'll also go and paint it in on the straps, kind of the very tops, just to add a little bit of a shadow to that, add a little bit of dimension there. I didn't paint it on over most of the shoulder piece um, because I wanted that to stay that nice light color. So there you have it. I'll let that fully dry before doing moving on to the next step, which is going back over the stripes on the pants with the fang and Fenrisian gray, really focusing on um, the parts where the light is going to hit it, uh, just bringing a little bit more contrast to those stripes. So, you know, he's got these billowy striped pants. That's definitely seems unique for a giggle dog. I definitely had a fun time going through and picking out the items and kind of created this character that is fairly well dressed, but has some parts that, you know, he's got like a jawbone for a club. So still a little bit of that animal nature to him. So now that that's dry, I'm going back in just with Fenrisian gray to hit these highlights on the pants. So I'm focusing uh, not painting fully over the full pant, but focusing kind of on the top parts to again bring a little bit of dimension to it and really make those two blues pop against each other and pop against the rest of the mini. And once I'm done painting this up, I went through and painted all of the accessories. Uh, I've mostly painted these using contrast paints with techniques that I've used in other videos. So today's video, I wanted to really focus on the fur and the armor as well as the clothing um, to show you how to paint this up. And there you have it, the finished Giggle Dog. Really proud of this guy. I can totally see him uh, joining the party as an NPC or being a major NPC that the party is fighting against. Thanks again to HeroForge for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to go check out HeroForge.com to create your custom miniature today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe because we make videos here every week about tabletop RPGs and our other geeky interests. And we do have bonus videos on Thursdays, so make sure that you're following us on social media. That's the best way to know what we're up to and when things are happening. All right, I'll see you next time on Roll for Initiative. Bye. Oh, doesn't he look like he's laughing? He's laughing as he's about to bash your skull in.